What's up, beautiful people? It's your girl, it's Leanne. This is a heart-based community podcast series number seven. And today we have my good friend, Gagan. Say hi, Gagan. Hello, everyone. Bathal, right? Yes. Gagan Deep Bathal. So we're here to bring something to the community about the heart-based community projects. And we've already done a podcast on Save the Soil um, project that's going on with Sadhguru, uh, traveling the world right now for 100 days. We are coming back and we're going to keep coming back every week just to give some updates about what we're learning and um, what I'm learning actually with Sadhguru and Gagandeep because he's um, done the inner, uh, inner engineering um, work on himself and just to give the community some updates what's going on and how we can reach more people to bring about the awareness and the importance of this awareness of this project, Save the Soil Project. So with that being said, Gagandeep, why don't you take a little bit of the microphone and sharing some of your understandings of the updates in the last week or so with where Sadhguru is. Okay. There's been so much going on that uh, it's hard to be on top of everything. I mean, Sadhguru, he's doing interviews with the media while he's riding his bike. So he's got his helmet on and there's a camera facing him. So you can, you just see him and, you know, riding in the background and he's got a microphone and headphones inside the his helmet and so he's doing interviews with the media on there and, and they're showing it on the news it's absolutely wonderful um every single second that uh, uh that there is he's totally using it there's no wasted time whatsoever um even though he was riding in like uh really rainy and windy weather it was pretty mm. bad in the Volunteers were like, oh, you know, Sadhguru, we should maybe stop, <laughs> take a break. And Sadhguru's like, no, we have a meeting at this time. We have to go to it. We cannot. It's okay. You know, it's a little cold and wet, but it's all right. We have to do what we have to do. So it's been a full on movement. Everybody's been behind it. Um, just to give some uh, updates, I made a little list. Um, so the people, wherever he's been going, the people have been absolutely wonderful. They've been huge crowds. People are absolutely behind uh, this movement. The government is also behind the movement as well, too. But they are they're a little bit muted just because of the the war that's going on in Ukraine. And mm -hmm. obviously, there's a crisis going on where there's immigration happening, a lot of people coming, and you know the, the governments are trying to sort that out as well, too. Mm -hmm. But they do acknowledge that yes, that this is something that that they want to work on. Um, as I had mentioned last time, six Caribbean nations had signed uh, MODs, mm. um, but now the, the remaining eight are also in the pipeline to do the same now. So um, it's been very well taken in the Caribbean region. Mm. Uh, it was just announced that the 54 Commonwealth nations uh, pledged uh, support for the Safe Soil Movement. And this accounts, the 34 nations, it accounts for about 2.7 billion people. So that's like really amazing, fantastic news. Um, there's four uh, UN agencies that have partner, partnered with uh, ISHA on this mm -hmm. movement. Mm -hmm. um, that's the UNCCD, UNAP, World Food Program, and the ICUN. Um, another wonderful news uh, just a couple of days ago that came in was that Germany announced $4 billion uh, for the well-being of the soil. Mm. Um, so that's going to okay. be going in. The U.S. has, uh, they're putting in $1 billion uh, towards uh, crop cover, mm. uh, which is one of the, the things that's uh, required to revitalize the soil. Uh, UK has also announced uh, that they're doing incentives for crop cover as well. Mm -hmm. um, it wasn't really clear how much money they're putting into it, but that they're moving forward with that. Uh, it, that's really important because at the end of the day, the, the farmers don't really have the means of doing all this by themselves. They need a lot of support. So it's really wonderful to see. And uh, Sadhguru has been doing this work for over 20 years now in India. Mm -hmm. uh, trying to convince the government say that this is uh, something that we need to do. Mm -hmm. uh, it took 20 years because, you know, he had to show everybody yet that, yes, this works. And here's a concept, you know, we've been working on this for 15, 20 years and look at it now, look at the change that has come. 
Um, so now is the right time. And India, uh, they announced approximately the equivalent of two and a half billion dollars mm -hmm. towards uh, revitalizing the area, mostly in the uh, in the southern mid to southern states. Mm -hmm. uh, but it accounts for about 67 percent of the land in India. Mm -hmm. So this is fantastic news. It's, it's really good. And there's more yet to still come. Sadhguru has been to five nations so far. Mm -hmm. And uh, there's a lot more to go. I know that the Middle Eastern countries, they're really looking forward to having Sadhguru come. You know, they, they can't wait. <laughs> I've been seeing all their campaigns. Um, so that's where we are at right now. Sounds good. Yeah, so audience, you know, the importance of coming back to seeing all this amazing work from such a beautiful soul like Sadhguru is that he is open and available for your your offering it's not that he's looking for he's not looking for the extended goal I was just listening to an interview with him and really really taking that in you know what are we contributing to with this uh, Sadhguru or the soil project is first understand a little bit about Sadhguru so he has this book that he's wrote about um inner engineering right inner engineering yeah. yes and and then we have that you know, that um, community that are running his his website, which is all volunteer based also. So he's talking about the importance of um, people coming genuinely from their heart to contribute. So there's, it's not like this is all perfect. It's like an imperfect perfection that's happening, right? And then you can see the drive of that pure conscious energy that's affecting the people that are like, well, it's a wake up time. We got to do our inner engineering so we can realize what we are inside of ourselves. And then we need to realize, oh, what is the most important thing that we need to contribute to this planet other than, you know, um, all of the goal mind setting or, or going further into the other aspect of what humans have been doing that's not working, right? And so that's not to say that it's not working fully and that science hasn't worked for us, but the inner conscious um, reflection from science and the inner consciousness to go within ourselves, we can see that that vulnerability, we come back to that pure love and that pure um, connection to Mother Earth. So that's another reason why I'm contributing to making these conversations happen with Gagandeep. Um, and I think we can talk a little bit about the inner engineering because Myself reflectively, Gagan, you know, I've done all that work. And so when I listen to Sadhguru and what I'm I'm getting from my higher self, I'm like, yes, 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 yes. And I'm like, yes, 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 yes. Right. And um, and I'm very, I'm very grateful. I mean, this is Navratri too, and we're on day three of coming into our personal power, our 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 Manipura chakra. And we're giving something back to the earth. We're giving something back to the goddess. We're giving something back to what Sadhguru is chasing the whole billion, billion people to give back to the soil, right? Let's give back to the earth. So maybe you can reflect a little bit about um, your journey with uh, that program and let us know a little bit about it. Uh, so I don't want to say too many things about uh, the inner engineering program because it's all, um, everyone's experience about it is going to be a little bit different mm -hmm. and we don't want to create any preconceived ideas of what it would be or would not be uh, but essentially like in a nutshell what it is is uh, engineering yourself the way that you want to be you know we have engineers that engineer buildings and all that stuff however they want it to be but we've never really looked inside ourselves how we want to be um, so inner engineering really gives you that control um, it goes from, you know, uh, uh, where uh, you're, where you, like, you respond to everything instead of reacting mm -hmm. to everything. Mm -hmm. it, uh, and all the things that you read in the inner, inner engineering book um, or what's taught in the inner engineering program, it's all things that you already know. That's why it's always yes, yes, yes. Mm -hmm. You know, you're, there's going to be no no to that. It's everything that you already know, but it just hasn't been brought to the forefront. And it's sort of like a reminder that, that, that this is how things are. Um, when I was uh, going through the program and or reading the book, I was, you know, a lot of the concepts that he was talking about, I remember like going through those things as a child. Mm -hmm. Like, I think as a child, like you're, 
like it depends on the atmosphere that's been set up for you. Um, but within the atmosphere, like I remember, you know, paying attention to certain things like, uh, you know, the, the water dropping from a, a faucet. Mm -hmm. You know, I, I, I remember sitting there as a kid just looking at it, you know, drop, you know, the drop forms and then it falls, you know, just paying that uh, attention to it. Mm -hmm. And uh, that all really came back when I was uh, going through the inner engineering program, because that's what it talks about is becoming aware of everything. I think as a child, you're, you're a little bit more aware. And then we kind of uh, lose a little bit of that as we grow up, when we get into this, you know, material world and responsibility and all that. Mm. And another part of uh, inner engineering is actually responsibility, like teaching, you know, that you are responsible for everything. You know, your, and your ability to respond to everything. Mm. Um, it, it, it shows like how you're all connected, like everything is uh, connected. You know, going back to that same thing, everything is one. We are all connected. None of us are different. No, no thing is different from us. Mm. Yeah, when I was listening to him this morning too, that was part of the reflection. And I really want to focus on, say, the soil, anybody who's watching, but I want you to feel a little bit more about how to take that time back to yourself and really learn if we're aware of our mind, if we're aware of what we're doing within ourselves, if we're aware of how we've isolated ourselves from expansion or the oneness, you know, or the openness and the availability, you know, the inner engineering, we have ability to look within and then see, you know, what have we limited ourselves to do in this life and how can we expand it by going within again? So I really understood that was another really big part of his message. And then I think about his eagerness to reach how many billions of people with this Save the Soil message and to reach those people also with inner, inner engineering. You know, I could hear that in an interview that he was doing and, you know, where he sees um, success and failure in service to the divine. And I feel like a lot of us are, we have so much that we have within us the aloneness is important to get alone and to integrate that and to integrate within ourselves. First of all, okay, do your inner engineering, know what you want to offer or know the capacity that you can offer, but still keeping that open door so that you can come through and be available here and now to the newness. And I feel this is what I want to make sure that people reach with the Save the Soil is the newness of what we have to do for the earth is collectively, we got to let down our guards of our conditioning of where we're at with the earth right now, where we're at with our limitations and really be available to be a part of this change. It's a newness that we need to be available for. Absolutely. Yeah. And and like this save the soil, it goes so much further than, than you know, just saving the planet. It's, um, you know, like a you're, a move to spirituality can only happen when your necessities are taken care of. If necessities are not taken care of, if you don't have food to eat, you cannot meditate. Uh, you cannot tell somebody, hey, you know, meditate. Because for them, it's like, no, I, I got to look for food. I'm hungry. I'm going to die, right? So uh, this is a, all a part of setting the stage so that everybody can uh, enhance themselves. Mm, beautiful. So I think, you know, with that being said, this is just our weekly update. It doesn't have to be too long. We just want to make sure that we get the message out and we're sharing it on social media because um, I feel the best things I can put in social media, especially if I'm putting time in there, are positive interactions, things are uplifting, um, things that can help change the world into a better world and meet people like Gagan. So please click like and click share on his pages. Watch the, you know, the little bit of inspiration that can come to put your attention back into saving the soil. Um, likewise, doing the same with YouTube and this where this is going. Once I have 100 followers, which, you know, will give me my name with Blissed Out, more of the messages that are to come uh, slowly but surely are going to get out to the right people. And this is how we can contribute. So thank you so much, Gagan, for coming in and spending your time with us, um, for growing with me as your new friend. And I'm really excited um, to be a part of uh, meeting more of the lovely people that are in the Isha community. And likewise, anybody else that's in the community, this is not a separation. And what um, I want to make clear is what I've understood about Sadhguru and also being on the path myself for my own personal enlightenment. When we work on ourselves, 
nothing is limited. And the beauty of working on ourselves is we tend to see the little things and we tend to see the beauty in others. So hopefully take that, reflect with yourself. If you need to look out and look into uh, Isha, is it uh, ishasadguru.com? Uh, What's the website that you can uh, encourage people yeah, to go to? Uh, ishausa.org. If you go there, it'll take you to the correct links. Okay, and then Save the Soil is? Savesoil.org. Okay, great. So yeah, so thank you guys. And hopefully you appreciate this moment with us here in time. And we look forward to seeing you next week. Thank you, Gagan, for coming. Namaste. Namaste. Thank you.